Today we're going to talk about inflation protection in your investments, okay? So if you don't know what that is, it, well, first of all, you shouldn't be investing yet if you don't know what that is. But for the new investors, it's all right. I'm going to go over the definition real quick, and then uh, we're going to get straight to this investment that provides inflation protest protection, okay? So inflation protective refers to investments that provide a hedge against the rise in prices of goods and services over time. An inflation protected investment will contain some type of adjusted mechanism that periodically ratchets the payouts uh, payouts up and down according to the rate of infl inflation. So we got nine dividend stocks today to buy as inflation protection, nine of them, okay? So analysts recommend these stocks for their dividends. Inflation is the talk of Wall Street these days because things is always up and down nowadays, especially since the pandemic happened, okay? So we're gonna go over number one, number one. Watch this, Morgan Stanley, ticker. Okay, Morgan Stanley is one of the world's largest investment banks. Analyst Michael Carrier says Morgan Stanley has healthy organic growth. All right, is hitting its financial targets, has strong capitalization ratios, and is benefiting from uh, elevated financial market activity all around the world. Okay, uh, looking ahead, Carrier says that there is room for earnings, multiple expansion in Morgan Stanley can generate at least 3% organic growth. Demand for new products has been high and Morgan Stanley has international expansion opportunities as well. The stock pays a 1.6% dividend. Bank of America has a buy rating and a $105 price target for MS stock. Okay, so number two is Huntington Ingalls Industries. Huntington Ingall Industries is one of the two primary ship builders for the U.S. government. So they build the ships for the U.S. government. That's kind of, kind of nice, okay? Ronald Epstein, man, I bet he wish he had that last name. Okay, it says Huntington has an impressive backlog of shipbuilding projects, okay? Generates robust free cash flow and is one of the prime beneficiaries of President Joe Biden Indo-Pacific strategy. Epstein or Epstein, whichever one you want to call it, says Huntington Management is open to returning access cash flow to shareholders via dividend hikes and buybacks, okay? So Huntington pays a 2.1% dividend. Bank of America has a buy rating and a $255 price target for this one, okay? So, yeah, it def yeah it's all right. All right, let's keep going. PNC Financial Services Group. PNC Financial Services is one of the largest U.S. banks specializing in traditional banking, commercial mortgage services, and asset management. All right, so it has a 2.4% dividend, and uh, Najarian projects a return to buyback starting the third year. It has a $211 price target as far as buyback from uh, Bank of America. Okay. All right, so MetLife, that's number, that's, I don't even know what number we're on. MetLife is a leading diversified life insurance and financial company. Um, earnings per share estimate for, estimate for MetLife is $7.15. The estimates are up 16.1% year over year. MetLife pays a 3.1% dividend. Bank of America has a buy rating uh, $71 price target for Met stock. Okay. All right. So Travelers is one of the top property and casualty insurers. Okay. That one has a $5 billion buyback plan and a buy rating of $174 per price target. And it pays a 2.3% dividend. Okay. So these are doing good. Sempra Energy. Okay. That one had, pays a dividend of 3.2% has a buy rating of 156 bucks price target and 7.9% uh, growth in 2022. That's projection for it. All right, we're almost done with it, baby. We're almost done. Okay, Bank of uh, New York, Mellon. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna link to these. I'm not gonna keep going for you guys because it, it might be getting boring for you. I want you guys to do a Jet Li sidekick and everything to the like button. If you're new to the channel, subscribe and I will see you in the next one. Alrighty.